chapter perfect competition and the topic is derivation of long run supply curve under perfectly competitive industry in this particular topic we are going to answer a particular question that is how does the supply of a competitive industry respond to dynamic changes in demand for the product in the long run as you know in the long run the demand for the product may change and let us assume that the demand for the product increases there could be various reasons for this number 1 income of the consumers in the market increase number 2 there could be increase in the number of consumers in the market as a result of increase in demand the competitive industry must increase the quantity supply increase in quantity supply depends on the cost conditions in the industry and accordingly the shape of the long run supply curve can be determined there are three types of cost conditions number 1 increasing costs number 2 decreasing cost conditions and number 3 constant cost conditions you see in the increasing cost industry the price of the product to be supplied in the long run will increase because of increase in the average cost of production in an increasing cost industry when demand for the product increases in the long run the industry will hire more factors of production in order to produce more quantity of the output new farms also may enter the industry so demand for factors of production will increase the increase in demand for factors will push the factor prices upwards causing average cost of production to increase hence the industry can supply higher quantities at higher prices accordingly we can see that the long run supply curve under increasing cost industry will be upward sloping look at the diagram quantity along the horizontal axis and price along the vertical axis the initial demand curve is d1 which is downward sloping the initial supply curve is s1 equilibrium point in the beginning is at e dash equilibrium price is at p1 and quantity at q1 now the demand curve shifts to the right due to increase in demand in the long run so demand curve shifts to d2 as a result of increase in demand the supply will also increase however due to increasing cost that is because average cost is increasing 
the supply can only increase by a less amount compared to increase in demand. So, supply curve shifts to the right, but the gap between supply curves S1, S2, that is the increase in supply curves, the increase in supply S1, S2 is less than increase in demand D1, D2. So, the new equilibrium with D2 and S2 is at point E double dash. At E double dash, the new equilibrium price has increased to P2, quantity has increased to Q2. So, to increase the quantity, price has increased, join E dash and E double dash to get upward sloping long run supply curve, long run supply curve, showing that higher quantities can be supplied at higher prices, that is, there is positive relation between price and quantity in an increasing cost industry. Now come to derivation of the long run supply curve under decreasing cost industry. In a decreasing cost industry, higher quantities of the product can be supplied by lowering the prices. The reason being, in such an industry, the average cost of production falls with increase in output. You see that in a decreasing cost industry, when demand for the product increases, the industry demand for factors of production also increase to increase the output in response to the increase in the demand for the product. These additional factors are available at lower factor prices than before, causing fall in average cost of production. Accordingly, the long run supply curve will be a downward sloping curve, showing inverse relationship between price and quantity. Look at the diagram. This is quantity, this is price, this is the original demand curve and supply curve. D1 is the demand, S1 is the supply, original equilibrium at E dash where demand is equal to supply, original price is P1 and quantity is P1. In the long run, the demand curve increases, that is, it shifts to the right. In response to the increase in demand, the supply curve will also shift to the right. The shift in supply will be more than shift in demand because the average cost of production falls so shift in supply will be higher than the shift in demand curve. So the gap between the supply curve is higher than the gap between the demand curves. The new equilibrium with new demand and supply is at E double dash. At the new equilibrium price has fallen to P2, quantity has increased to Q2. Join E, E double dash, you get downward sloping long run supply curve. Finally, come to derivation of the long run supply curve 
under constant cost industry. In a constant cost industry, additional quantities of output can be supplied at the prevailing market price in the long run. The reason being, in a constant cost industry, there is no change in the average cost of producing the commodity. In fact, in such an industry, when firms demand higher quantities of factors of production in order to produce higher quantities of output in response to the increase in demand for the product, these higher quantities of factors will be available at the same factor prices. Hence, there will be no change in the average cost of production. So, the long run supply curve in constant cost industry will be a horizontal line. Look at the diagram. Quantity and price. This is the original demand curve, the original supply curve. Equilibrium point is at E dash with price P1 and quantity Q1. The demand for the product increases, shifted to the right to D2. Here, the supply curve will also increase by the same amount as increase in demand. So, supply will shift by the same amount. New supply curve is S2. New equilibrium is at E double dash. The price has remained same at the new equilibrium, but quantity has increased to Q2. Join E, E double dash, we get horizontal long run supply curve. This is horizontal. So, under constant cost industry, the long run supply curve is horizontal. Look at the derivation of the long run supply curve under perfectly competitive industry once again.